new warning about the threat of a massive supervolcano eruption, like the one under Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone National Park, a wondrous wonder of nature, conceals a seismic enigma presently surfacing. Many earthquakes have occurred, prompting vigilant attention from the scientific community. Could this be the prelude to a catastrophic eruption predicted by experts? Or might there be an even more mysterious force in play beneath the geysers and thermal springs? Join us as we explore the recent tremors, unveiling their significance for Yellowstone and potentially the globe. Something extraordinary is unfolding and you won't want to miss the astonishing revelations unearthed by scientists. Before we delve into the recent seismic events, it's essential to grasp the historical context of Yellowstone National Park. Established on March 1, 1872, by President Ulysses S. Grant, Yellowstone stands not only as the United States' inaugural national park, but also as the world's pioneering example. Yellowstone Caldera Stretching across a vast expanse of 2.2 million acres in the heart of Wyoming, Montana and Idaho, Yellowstone National Park is a breathtaking mosaic of wilderness, geothermal wonders, and an array of wildlife that includes grizzly bears, wolves and herds of bison and elk. Its iconic landscape, adorned with geysers and hot springs, often lulls visitors into tranquility. However, beneath this seemingly serene facade lies a fact that often escapes our consciousness. Yellowstone is not just any ordinary park. It is a colossal volcanic caldera, one of the most extensive active volcanic systems globally, with a history marked by cataclysmic eruptions. As we venture deeper into the heart of Yellowstone, we uncover the enigmatic world of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, home to renowned geysers like Old Faithful and the Grand Prismatic Spring. This supervolcano has the capacity to unleash eruptions thousands of times more potent than typical volcanic events. At the heart of Yellowstone's geological narrative lies its colossal caldera, forged through three super eruptions spanning the past 2.1 million years. The first of these monumental eruptions, transpiring 2.1 million years ago, culminated in the formation of the Huckleberry Ridge Tuff, accompanied by a caldera spanning over 60 miles in diameter. The second super eruption, transpiring 1.3 million years ago, gave rise to the Island Park Caldera and the Mesa Falls Tuff. The most recent super eruption, approximately 640,000 years ago, crafted the Lava Creek Tuff, shaping the Yellowstone Caldera as we know it today. This eruption unleashed unfathomable power, ejecting more than 240 cubic miles of rock, ash, and volcanic gases into the atmosphere, precipitating a global temperature plummet with far-reaching repercussions on ecosystems worldwide. Imagine the unimaginable, a force so colossal that it could blanket entire continents with ash, disrupt global climate systems, and bring widespread destruction in its wake. The fallout from such an eruption could bury cities and farmlands under ash layers, leading to catastrophic consequences for agriculture and infrastructure. The release of sulfur aerosols could usher in a volcanic winter, plunging the planet into a chilling embrace and altering weather patterns for years. But here's the twist. The story doesn't culminate with this alarming revelation. Stay with us as we embark on a journey to unveil the potentially cataclysmic consequences of a Yellowstone eruption, a scenario that could reshape human history. Recent scientific studies have unveiled an astonishing revelation, a revelation that magnifies the already potent potential for devastation lurking beneath Yellowstone's tranquil exterior. It's not just one magma chamber, but two concealed beneath this behemoth of a volcano. The first magma chamber, initially identified in the 1980s, resides approximately 10 kilometers below the Earth's surface and harbors around 10,000 cubic kilometers of molten material. However, an even deeper revelation emerges from seismic imaging. Buried between depths 20 to 50 kilometers below the surface, rests a second magma chamber, a staggering 4.5 times larger than its shallower counterpart. This groundbreaking discovery leaves us awestruck. Together, these chambers house enough molten rock to fill the Grand Canyon nearly 14 times over. This revelation, to be clear, does not elevate the likelihood of an eruption in the immediate future. Nevertheless, it signifies that the shallow chamber can be continually replenished, providing an enduring source of energy for the park's mesmerizing geothermal features. What then does this discovery imply for Yellowstone's future? And how does it tie into the grand narrative of this geological marvel? Yellowstone earthquakes. Deep within the heart of America's very first national park, Yellowstone, an astonishing geological drama has been unfolding. In recent days, this iconic wilderness has become the stage for a seismic spectacle 
that has left both scientists and the general public astir with apprehension. Over the course of just 12 hours, the northern region of Yellowstone Lake bore witness to a series of tremors that have drawn the rapt attention of experts and the curiosity of observers. It all began on March 28th, with what appeared to be an inconspicuous magnitude 0.7 earthquake. Little did anyone know that this was merely the opening act of a remarkable seismic performance. Within a mere half day, Yellowstone experienced no less than 60 earthquakes, spanning a range of magnitudes from 0.1 to 3.7. Two tremors surpassed the 3.0 magnitude threshold, with the most potent registering a magnitude of 3.7 at precisely 8.24 a.m. MDT. The University of Utah Seismograph Stations and the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory diligently monitored these seismic occurrences. Furthermore, there are ongoing assessments of smaller earthquakes in the area that demand close scrutiny. Now, it's worth noting that Yellowstone is no stranger to earthquakes. They constitute approximately 50% of the total seismic activity in the broader Intermountain West region. Most of these tremors are minor, evading the notice of the park's visitors. However, the recent swarm of quakes has reignited discussions and concerns about the prospect of the dreaded big one occurring within the park. Yellowstone is one of the most seismically active zones in the United States, bearing witness to anywhere from 1,000 to 3,000 earthquakes annually. Although the majority of these are relatively inconsequential, the recent swarm has undeniably raised eyebrows. For those familiar with the geological potency of this this region, the mere mention of a potential eruption within Yellowstone National Park is enough to send shivers down one's spine. Such an event would be of unparalleled magnitude and would bring catastrophic consequences to the immediate surroundings. The consequences would include devastating lava flows, pyroclastic surges, and a suffocating ashfall that would obliterate everything in their path. The park's captivating landscapes, its rich biodiversity, and its iconic geysers would all be engulfed by the eruption's wrath. The human toll would be equally staggering. Yellowstone and its adjacent areas are a magnet for millions of tourists annually. Towns and communities near the park would be at grave risk, and orchestrating evacuation efforts would be a Herculean task. According to a model, the aftermath of a Yellowstone super-eruption could affect three-quarters of the United States, with a dire projection that 90% of those living within 1,000 kilometers of the blast could meet a tragic fate. One of the most unsettling aspects of such an eruption would be the widespread ashfall. A significant eruption could unleash thousands of cubic kilometers of ash into the atmosphere, blanketing vast expanses of North America. As per one map, regions as distant as Missouri and Texas might receive more than 10 centimeters of ash, while areas closer to Yellowstone could find themselves buried under several meters of ash. In addition to the sheer volume of volcanic gases and aerosols released, the global climate would face profound disruption. Sulfur dioxide and other gases could amass in the stratosphere, forming a shroud of aerosols that would scatter sunlight and usher in substantially cooling the Earth's surface. According to a study, the consequences of a Yellowstone super-eruption could entail a drop in global temperatures by up to 12 degrees Celsius for several years. This volcanic winter could disrupt weather patterns, curtail agricultural yields, and contribute to food shortages in various parts of the world. In contemplating the potential of such an eruption, it becomes imperative to draw lessons from past volcanic events and apply them diligently to risk management and mitigation strategies. However, the pressing question that looms is whether the supervolcano is indeed exhibiting signs of awakening, or if these recent tremors are merely the park's restless yet not unusual geological rhythms. Only time and rigorous scientific monitoring will provide the answers we seek. Yellowstone Geology Are these recent tremors in Yellowstone merely nature's way of reminding us of its enduring power and enigmatic unpredictability? To grasp the essence of this question, we must embark on a journey into the intricate tapestry of Yellowstone's geological marvels. This national park rests atop a geological hotspot, a column of molten rock ascending from the Earth's mantle. This hotspot is the lifeblood of the park's geothermal wonders, and is the driving force behind the region's volcanic activity. Remarkably, Yellowstone's hotspot is one of the few that lies beneath a continental crust, rather than the more common oceanic crust. The recent swarm of earthquakes in Yellowstone, concentrated near the eastern fringes of the Yellowstone caldera, close to where the last major eruption occurred, has thrust this geological wonder back into the spotlight. Many wonder if these seismic events foreshadow a more substantial geological event, Seismologists and geologists vigilantly scrutinize the data, searching for patterns and clues that might offer insights into the volcanic system's behavior. The University of Utah seismograph stations and the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory have sought to reassure the public. They assert that the recent seismic activity does not portend an imminent eruption. These earthquakes are most likely linked to the movement of fluids and gases beneath the Earth's surface a natural and expected phenomenon in a region as geologically active as Yellowstone. Yellowstone's geothermal features, including its famed geysers and hot springs, are not merely picturesque tourist attractions. They indicate the profound geological dynamism lurking beneath the Earth's surface. Hydrothermal explosions represent one striking manifestation of this underlying activity. These explosions arise when superheated water, 
trapped beneath the Earth's surface, transforms abruptly into steam, yielding a violent eruption. In Yellowstone, smaller-scale hydrothermal explosions, akin to unexpectedly robust or anomalous geyser events, occur almost annually and could pose hazards to those nearby. Notably, in 1989, a hydrothermal explosion rocked pork chop geyser in the Norris Geyser Basin, leaving behind a visible trail of rock debris surrounding the central spring. Even more recent history reveals a significant explosion that left a crater within the park 3,000 years ago. Within this geologically dynamic landscape, landslides emerge as another potential hazard. The region's terrain, marked by instability and subject to the relentless forces of weathering and seismic activity, can give rise to sudden and catastrophic landslides. These events have the potential to block roads and trails, isolate portions of the park, and pose tangible risks to hikers and motorists. It's important to note that the geological dynamics can be further influenced by tremors and earthquakes, capable of altering geysers and hot springs and precipitating landslides. As we delve deeper into the intricacies of Yellowstone's geological saga, our historical memory prompts a recollection of one of the park's most significant seismic episodes, the Hebgen Lake earthquake. Could history be poised to repeat itself? With each tremor, the question looms, and the meticulous monitoring of Yellowstone's geological heartbeat continues, a reminder that the Earth's ancient power and unpredictability persist in the heart of this cherished national treasure. Yellowstone Earthquake In the annals of Yellowstone's geological history, one seismic event looms largest, the Hebgen Lake Earthquake. Striking with a formidable magnitude of 7.5, it stands as the most potent earthquake recorded in the region's history. This formidable quake set in motion a cascade of dramatic events, most notably damming the Madison River and giving rise to Quake Lake. The force of these landslides was staggering, with an estimated speed of 100 miles per hour, and they contained a staggering 80 million tons of rock, soil and debris. Tragically, these surges buried a campground, claiming the lives of 28 individuals. Roads, bridges and structures suffered destruction or severe damage, not only in the earthquake's immediate vicinity, but also in more remote areas. The earthquake's reach extended even to Yellowstone National Park, impacting visitor access and disrupting park operations for an extended period. Beyond its destructive force, the earthquake wielded a profound influence on Yellowstone's geothermal wonders. Long dormant geysers awoke from their slumber, while others experienced dramatic shifts in their behavior. The iconic Old Faithful geyser, known for its reliable eruption intervals, saw its patterns altered. Furthermore, new hot springs and fumaroles emerged within the park's confines. This seismic upheaval prompted a reassessment of the seismic hazards inherent to the Yellowstone region. It catalyzed substantial enhancements in monitoring and preparedness measures. The US Geological Survey, along with other agencies, intensified their vigilance, while building codes and emergency response protocols were revamped to incorporate the lessons garnered from this momentous event. As scientists continue to unravel the mysteries embedded within Yellowstone's geological tapestry, the world watches with rapt anticipation, eager to uncover the secrets that await discovery. One intriguing clue might reside in an unexpected quarter, Yellowstone's vibrant wildlife. From dense forests to expansive meadows, from steaming geysers to icy rivers, the park's diverse landscapes offer sanctuary to an impressive array of plant and animal species. Yet of late, a curious phenomenon has been unfolding. Park visitors are reporting peculiar encounters with wildlife, particularly bison. Just a fortnight ago, a woman found herself gored by a bison, despite repeated warnings and close calls. Tragically, another incident occurred just last week when a woman was discovered lifeless on the buttermilk trail, eight miles from West Yellowstone. Investigative teams identified grizzly bear tracks at the scene, pointing to a harrowing bear encounter. For the safety of both humans and bears, the area has been cordoned off until August 25th, with investigations ongoing. The connection, if any, between this unusual wildlife behavior and the broader geological dynamics of the region remains an enigma, leaving us to ponder the mysteries of Yellowstone and the intricate interplay of its natural wonders. Wildlife behavior. In the midst of recent seismic activities in Yellowstone, some experts contemplate whether animals possess an innate sensitivity to phenomena that elude human perception. After all, these creatures have coexisted harmoniously with this land for thousands of years. The notion that animals can detect seismic activities before humans is not a novel one. Numerous documented cases exist where animals have exhibited unusual behavior preceding earthquakes, such as dogs barking incessantly or cats seeking refuge. In Yellowstone, this connection might run even deeper. The park's geothermal features and seismic events are ingrained in its natural landscape, and wildlife has evolved and adapted to these conditions over countless millennia. 
Among these creatures, bison in particular, share a profound bond with this land. They utilize the park's geothermal areas during the winter, capitalizing on the warmth they provide, and their migratory patterns are influenced by the geological features of the region. Could the recent alterations in their behavior be a response to shifts in the subterranean magma chambers? Might these animals be reacting to vibrations or chemical changes in the environment, imperceptible to human senses? These questions now captivate the attention of scientists, who are embarking on a quest to discern potential correlations between animal behavior and seismic data. It's a multifaceted puzzle, in which the behavior of animals, the course of rivers, the eruptions of geysers, and the rumbling of earthquakes are all interconnected, revealing patterns that we are only beginning to decipher. The specter of an earthquake or volcanic eruption looms large in this geologically dynamic region, provoking grave concern. Authorities spare no effort in comprehending, monitoring and mitigating these potential risks. A recently unveiled Yellowstone Volcano and Earthquake Monitoring Plan, presented by the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, in conjunction with other partners, endeavors to elevate the level of monitoring and hazard assessment within the region. This comprehensive strategy delves into two key categories, backbone monitoring and hydrothermal monitoring. Backbone monitoring revolves around the existing region-wide surveillance network that has long served to monitor seismic activities, ground deformation, and other geological phenomena within the Yellowstone Plateau region. This extensive network is fortified with seismometers, GPS stations, and various instruments thoughtfully positioned throughout the park, all providing real-time data on subterranean geological events. The plan envisions further enhancements to this system over the next decade, fortifying its capabilities to capture critical data. Hydrothermal monitoring, a novel facet of the plan, is designed to meticulously track activity in Yellowstone's thermal and geyser basins. By meticulously measuring temperature, pressure, water chemistry, and other pertinent parameters within these basins, this facet of the strategy will offer valuable insights into the behavior of the hydrothermal system. It will serve as a sentinel, ready to detect any unusual changes that may serve as harbingers of an impending geological event. Numerous scientific entities, including the University of Wyoming, the US Geological Survey, and the National Park Service, are actively engaged in this vigilant monitoring effort. Their collective dedication underscores the imperative of comprehending and mitigating geological hazards within the Yellowstone Plateau region. As we delve deeper into understanding the complex dance between nature and seismic events, the world watches with a keen sense of anticipation, curious about the enigmatic secrets that Yellowstone may yet reveal.